Yeah. I guess my what I would wonder, obviously, if it's if it's against state law, that that, that does that. But um, you know, I, what I would wonder is, are are we in a situation where, uh, which clearly we are, we're at capacity. So, and the uh, the jail facility downtown is everybody agrees it's it's in a disrepair, and we're plowing dollars into it that is has been characterized as good money after bad, and so we have to do something. And, and my question is, are are we, are, is this a um, is is the the jail situation is it is are the costs spiraling out of control where we need to sort of figure that out or is it just simply that we're at capacity and we're going to need to build something that's more modern and because the, to me that th those are two different questions whether it's just you know a new facility that we need to put someplace versus are we uh, and have we seen the costs my my budget for this coming year is eleven point five million dollars. My budget two years ago was about twelve and a half million dollars. So my costs have dropped, mm -hmm. and part of that is because of some real hard work we've been doing with a lot of support with Sheriff Felfo to try and find ways. We're going into like everybody, every other department in in county government. Of course, we've been getting hit by the recession, so we're freezing positions. We're trying to find smarter and better ways of doing it. The difficulty in that same time frame, of course, is is the number of inmates that we're dealing with have grown. And the issue, one of the drivers that we're dealing with also is the inmate medical care, is, as Dewey pointed out. Because unfortunately, we're getting more and more Ill, chronically ill offenders, and that drives some, some medical costs. But the reality is our budget's well, about a million dollars less than it was two years ago. So and that $68 is a good rate. I mean, yeah. that's, that's actually most other in, institutions are as more, much higher. More than that. King County's $150 a day. Uh -huh. It's also an increased cost for uh, maintenance of the building. Fairmont. Where yeah. the plumbing, um, we're, we're constantly replacing pipes that cover pipes, springing holes. Yeah. Um, the sewer pipes are plugging up on a regular basis. The, um, the bases for the machines, like the washing machines, uh, they're actually vibrating loose and we're going to have to take them out and, and record them. Uh, you know, the list just goes on and <laughs> on and on. Of the Mechanical things that have been in the building. There, in the last two weeks, uh, there's been a, at least one or more cells down because of control issues. And I had a lot of overtime involved just trying to get those cells up and going because the jail is loaded up and we have to have those cells. Hasn't the council approved a couple million dollars to roll into? Uh, Go facility for this is it for this year? Short term fix. Short term electrical, all the, all the things, things that you're talking about. Yeah. And uh, the controls in the IC. And we're designing that right now. Councilor Knudsen. Yeah, um, I'm a little unclear when uh, you said about privatizing the jail. I thought two, three years ago, what was uh, SSP doing out there on Bakerview. That was considered a special, it was a specialized function, there's a special allocation for it, and that was the work release facility. We were able to subcontract just that part of it. I can find you the, the enabling legislation if you'd like it. It was a part of the RCW that allowed that, that type of, it's a, it was considered a special detention facility within very strict boundaries, but as far as the entire jail itself, we yeah. can't. So what is the potential for um, how many inmates in the current facility would fall under that, that requirement? Well, actually, we've, we're running a work release program right now. We've only got uh, about 12 people on it because with the economy has softened. We had a much more robust program a few years ago with 23, 24 inmates at any given point in time, which was about what SSP carried. But as the economy softened, a lot of our offenders are the guys who work those jobs that are the ones that get dissolved when the economy goes bad. So we've, we've got a small program. We'll grow it as soon as we start getting more folks who are actually employed that need new jail time. So.